Today in uh, the topic of ship handling, I'll be focusing on shallow water maneuvering. So shallow water is defined as a depth of uh, less than one and a half times the draft of the ship. So based on the draft of the ship, if the water's depth is less than one and a half times the draft, then it is considered shallow water for that particular vessel. Within this shallow depth, vessel's maneuvering capabilities is severely affected. The shallow water effects are as follows. Number one, in shallow water, less water can pass under the ship and more water passes along the hull of the vessel. This modifies the dynamical forces around the vessel. It severely affects the directional stability of the vessel. That is, steering the vessel in a straight line requires excessive hem. Number two, a vessel should not be maneuvered on autopilot in shallow water and should be on hand steering. However, when the under keel clearance or UKC reduces to 10 to 15 percent approximately of the draft, vessel becomes highly directionally unstable as there is hardly any water passing under the keel and most of the water is passing along the hull increasing lateral resistance of water making turning of the ship difficult. Directional stability of the vessel can be improved by decreasing the speed of the vessel. Number three, a large increase in turning circle occurs when a vessel starts turning in shallow water. The water cannot pass easily under the keel. Hence you can see that a reduction in turning lever and an increase in lateral resistance decreases the drift angle. So in the above drawing you can see that the pivot point shifts aft when the lateral resistance increases aft of the turning lever the turning lever reduces as the lateral resistance increases along the hull of the vessel because more water is passing along the hull there is more water along the hull and because of which there is more lateral resistance hence the turning lever reduces and a combination of both increases the turning circle in shallow water drift angle is the angle between the fore and aft line of the vessel and the tangent to the turning circle so if you can see in this diagram here the first the bigger circle is the turning circle of the vessel in shallow water where the drift angle is theta 1 and the second drawing is the turning circle of the vessel in deep water so you can see that the turning circle in deep water is much smaller than the turning circle in the shallow water. So it is easier for the vessel to turn when deeper waters are available to it compared to when shallow water is available. All right. Size of the turning circle in shallow water can be as much as three times the size in deep water. Number four, reduction in speed. When a vessel starts turning, its speed reduces as the direction of water resistance shifts from right ahead to the bow opposite to the turn. The area of resistance also increases as the speed drops. Reduction in speed is proportional to drift angle. That is higher the drift angle, higher is the reduction in speed. The reduction of speed is more in deep water than in shallow water. Number five, when a ship is moving through shallow water, she leaves a void space behind the vessel which cannot be filled up easily because of underkill restriction. To fill up the void, a stream of water follows the vessel from behind. There will not be enough water available for gripping by the propeller when the astern movement is given. As the stern movements are less effective, it results in increase of stopping distance. It also causes vibrations all over the vessel when a stern movement is given. Final effect of the shallow water maneuvering is squat. The underkill clearance or UKC of the vessel reduces along with change in trim. This effect is known as squat. 
so in shallow water maneuvering the mariners and the navigators must be aware that the turning circle of the vessel as well as the stopping distance of the vessel starts to increase so you have to take these into consideration when attempting to avoid collision or stopping the vessel or carrying out any other operations like picking up the pilot or anchoring Scott will discuss more in the next video let me know what you thought about this video because this video focused only on the effects of shallow water maneuvering let me know what other topics you want me to cover when it comes to ship handling i'll see you soon with my next video guys all the best with your studies and keep studying hard bye